hello everyone so today i'm gonna show you how to do a cute little ombre with some butterfly um little decor and this video i recorded a couple months ago maybe like a month or two i just never really got to posting it um i'm sorry i've been a little m.i.a bitch but i'm in the middle of moving like i i told you guys last time so I'm sorry if I haven't been able to post anything. I also got a little sick, bitch. This girl caught a cold or something. But I'm feeling so much better. You know, ain't nobody got time to get sick for the, for the new year. And so right here I'm using the Mia Secret Plum. And I just used a really small amount. Because like you could see... The jar is already freaking little, like, girl. Si agarras un pegoste gigante, you're gonna use up your whole powder. So, these powders are mostly for 3D, in my opinion, because they dry a little bit fast. Um, which is kind of good in the winter time, I guess. And, um, my client had already told me exactly what she wanted. So, she wanted to do an ombre on the pinky the middle finger and her thumb and her other two nails are gonna be accent nails which means they're gonna be different and they're the ones that are gonna have the design and I believe I'm using the regular coffin nail tips because normally those are the tips that I use on clients who don't want their nails super long and they want them pretty coffin and I'm not sure if you're able to notice, but <clears throat> some of the fingers have like, um, it's not marble, but the color was not even. So I go in there a couple more times to try to um, even out the color because it does kind of like marble a little bit. So if you do see me applying a little bit more, then that is why. I'm sorry, I was looking at an email that just came in. And so for ombres, you want to make sure to apply your acrylic halfway up the nail. So you don't want to go, personally, I don't like to go higher than halfway, but I've seen a lot of people that like to do that. So it's more of a preference, but personally, I just like to do halfway. And then I apply a very thin layer just in case I have to keep applying more like this pinky right here it didn't have like the same color on the whole now so I went in there and added a little bit more just to make the little tip fully purple like I mentioned earlier it did kind of give a little marble effect so right here I'm using a nude I do not remember what nude this is though because I did these nails like two months ago um, as you can see in my nails, they're totally different. These were my green nails that I love very much. And I like to apply a little bit at a time because I do encapsulate my ombres. I just feel like when you encapsulate your ombre, it just comes out way better blended. But anyway, I'm just going to take advantage and talk to you guys a little bit because a girl has been missing my house i've been like in bed watching fucking tv all day every day and it's like girl that's boring as fuck and i don't even have energy to really be on ig or youtube or whatever pero pues yeah me siento mucho más mejor yeah, yeah. has anybody else gotten sick like a cold or flu or whatever or or anything else let me know in the comments let me know if you like purple i was totally supposed to do my my new set but i can't because i'm moving i'm gonna be moving tomorrow i'm excited i'm excited to show you guys my new nail room when i do put it together because girl that's gonna take a little while and what you guys get for Christmas? Did Sancho Claus like? Oh, I forgot I was typing. Did Sancho Claus get you guys what you wanted? 
Let me know in the comments because sadly, Sancho Claus this year has been making me wait so much for my gifts. And it's like, what the hell? Man? What the hell? I am not the most patient person. So it's like, girl, I'm sad. One of my favorite gifts though for Christmas was um, I got an Ugg blanket. I was like, oh, yes, honey. I love blankets. I'm like Senora Life up in here now. Let me know if you guys want me to show you my little blanket in one of my videos. You guys copy me because that shit is so cute. So right here, I'm just applying the acrylic um, <clears throat> towards the cuticle and just blending it lightly. Like I mentioned in the past, um, you have to make sure to use just the tip of your brush to blend, not the whole body. I'm sorry if my energy levels are not what they're used to, but this bitch is still recovering over here. So I'm going to be asking you guys a question and you are going to have to answer it to enter my little giveaway that I did promise for the end of the year. Now, if those of you obviously don't listen, they're going to miss out. So don't tell nobody, okay? So in the comments below, let me know what your goal for 2021 is. One of your goals. If you have more than one, then you can um, let me know more than one. What is your 2021 goal? My goal is probably to do some exercise, girlfriend, because... No, but I pinche long how can make I go. I haven't done exercise in a long time. But that's gonna be one of my goals. Another one of my goals is gonna be to hmm. What else? I'm not sure what my other goal is. Actually, I have to fucking write that shit down myself. But um, let me know what your goals for 2021 is. At least one of them. And then I'm gonna be picking a random winner. Um, probably on, no, um, I was going to say November, on January 1st. So make sure to leave me your little comment below so that you're entered and it's going to be anonymously. So, um, I'm going to pick it through that one little website that I always use. And if I pick somebody who didn't answer the question that I asked, then I'm just going to pick somebody else. So good luck everybody and I look forward to reading those little comments because I love my little comments. So back to the video right here I am encapsulating the ombre because I'm going to be using um, glitter on the other fingers. So whenever I use glitter I know for sure that I have to encapsulate all the rest that are not going to have glitter because glitter gets onto everything and anything so if you want to get glitter on your ombre then don't encapsulate it but if your client didn't request glitter on there then girl you better encapsulate it because it's gonna have glitter all over So for the ring finger and the index finger, I'm going to be using a little bit of nude. The same nude that I use on the set. Again, I don't remember what color is it, but I want to say that it is P3 from Tammy Taylor. Because that one um, is one of my favorite nudes. Because it's kind of pink and a little transparent-ish for like ombres. I think it's really perfect. And I'm going to be using um, the Glitter Fairy from my website. So I'm going to be doing a little ombre with the nude and the glitter. You want to say hi, Patrick? Patrick said hi. Hmm. This is my actual speed. So I did not speed any of this video up so that you could see how slow I work. Because some people be like, girl, how long does it take you to do nails? Like, it takes me three hours. And it's like, girl, it takes me the same time. 
Like, it's not about the speed, honey. I mean, everybody's different, but I really don't care to be fast. As long as the nails are looking good, that's all that matters. And I'm applying the, my little glitter. You can't really tell yet that there's glitter on there, but girl, look at that little sparkle. Yes, honey. So I decided to put glitter on her nail because, I mean, my client does love the glitter. And the little butterflies, they're not all like super sparkly. So we wanted to give them like a little sparkly background. Since they are the accent fingers, we wanted them to pop. And these little butterflies are also available on my website. <coughs> Um, they're, they do come in a pack of, I believe, 10 or 12 colors. So, girl, if you want blue, you want golden, they in that little package. And I think I only used, um, two different shades of pink. Because my client chose those two colors. Actually, I don't remember who chose them. If it was her or it was me or whatever. But they came out so cute. Look how sparkly they are. And, um, <clears throat> also, what was I going to say? Try to apply your, your, your glitter really thin. Because you do not want your little butterflies to get shaved off once you file. Whenever you do anything encapsulating, you want to make sure to apply pretty thin. So that when it is time for filing, you do not file it and then if you're applying any type of decorations try your best to not get it as close to the cuticle because that will most likely get filed off because the cuticle is one of the thinnest parts of the nail and well no decoration um is safe in the cuticle area so i do not recommend it to be placed there unless it's on top of the nail All right, so now it is the time for the top coat. Oh, yes, honey. I love top coat. It's like lip gloss for your nail, honey. And I am using the Zulate No Wipe Toughen Top Coat. Girl, look at that sparkle. That little glitter is like perfect. It's kind of subtle, but it's like sparkly when you like move it around. So for those of you guys who don't like crazy, crazy nails, this would be a perfect design for you or if you want to add a little bit more sparkly then you could always add more bling i mean you could add some bling my client didn't want any bling so this was perfect for her but if it was something that i was doing on myself i would have definitely add bling to all my ombre nails let me know if you would have kept it just like this as is like my client or if you would have blinged it out and what else you would like to see on my next video all right bye everyone happy new year don't forget to subscribe to my little channel bitches leave me a little like and a little comment and i'll see you guys next time